what is statistics statistics is the art of learning from data it is concerned with the collection of data their subsequent description and their analysis which often leads to the drawing of conclusion major branches of statistics there are two major branches of statistics one is descriptive statistics and other one is inferential statistics the part of the statistics concerned with the description and summarization of data is called descriptive statistics whereas the parts of statistics concerned with the drawing of conclusions from data is called inferential statistics to be able to draw a conclusion from the data we must take the into account the possibility of chance introduction to probability now come to the population and sample population is your whole data which we have which we are going to study and the sample is a subset of the population the sample is should be as representative as possible the descriptive statistics is performed on the population whereas the inferential statistics perform on the sample purpose of statistical statistical analysis if the purpose of the analysis is to examine and explore information or its own intrinsic interest only the study is descriptive if the information is obtained from a sample of a population and the purpose of the study is to use that information to draw conclusions about the population the study is inferential a descriptive study may be performed either on a sample or on a population when whereas the inferential statistic perform only on sample when an inference is made about the population based on information obtained from the sample does the study become inferential now come to the data collection data already available we can use the published data if data not available need to collect generate data we assume data is available and our objective is to do a statistical analysis of available data there are some unstructured data also like customer 1 brought maggi biscuits cold drink customer 2 milk biscuit customer 3 socks vegetable fruits these data are giving no idea about that customers about our cases or anything so these data are unstructured data for the information in a database to be useful we must know the context of the number and text it holds when they are scattered about with no structure the information is of very little use hence we need to organize data now comes to variable and caches variable shows in columns and cases are displayed in rows rows column represents variables whereas rows represents cases see this columns represents variable whereas rows like anjali pradeep varsha divya thomas these are cases 
there is names gender date of birth marks these are the variables variable in same type should be same unit if we are talking about height variable then the every height should be in same unit if it is in centimeter then all should be in centimeter not like that one is centimeter one is meter one is inch it is not acceptable if we are talking about weight and it is mentioned in kg then all variables should be in kg so <clears throat> variable in same type should be same of your unit and one thing is data is zero is not equal to data is not available in maybe any column the data is zero it means its value is zero and if it is like dash dash it means is these data are not available these two are different case or observation a unit from which data are collected the that is cache and variable variable is intuitive a variable is that varies formally a characteristic or attribute that varies across all units in our school data set case is each student variable is name marks board etc rows represent caches for each case same attribute is recorded and column represents variable for each variable same type of value for each case is recorded variable should be consistent in unit across all the observation i already told you that if height is measured in centimeter then it should be all for all in centimeter not one is centimeter one is feet and inch it is not acceptable all variable should be in same unit okay so data broadly classified in two categories first is categorical data or qualitative data the second is numerical data or quantitative data categorical data also called qualitative variables identify group membership numerical data also called quantitative variables describe numerical properties of caches have measurement units measurement units scale that defines the meaning of numerical data such as weights measured in kilogram prices in rupees heights in centimeter etc the data that make up a numerical variable in a data table must share a common unit same thing there is a two type of data categorical and numerical in numerical there is a two type of data discrete and continuous we will see further then the other type of data is a time series data in time series data your variable is same variable is constant variable is fixed whereas the time is vary tracking the variable over the period of time variable is fixed and time vary time jo hoga aapka vary karega then time series data it will be time series data cross sectional and time series data time series data recorded over time time plot graph of a time series showing values in chronological order this is time plot cross sectional data observed at the same time cross sectional data means time is fixed time fit variable change this is cross sectional data mm -hmm. the next is scales of measurement data collection requires one of the following scales of measurement nominal ordinal interval and ratio 
let's see what is the what is a the nominal scale of measurement when the data for a variable consists of labels or names used to identify the characteristics of an observation the scale of measurement is considered a nominal scale example name board gender blood group these are the nominal scale measurement of data where you cannot put the data in order there the scale is accepted the nominal scale of measurement sometimes nominal variable might be numerically coded so that men is coded as one women is two or men three women one both codes are valid but in this case also the one and two are two and three are the nominal scale nominal scale it is performed on categorical data nominal scale of measurement there is no order in the variable in the variable no order is there nominal name categorize without implying order next is ordinal scale of measurement like bad good excellent here is an order good is better than bad and excellent is better than good so here is an order data exhibits properties of nominal data in this data has the properties of nominal data and the order or rank of data is meaningful the scale of measurement is considered a ordinal scale each customer who visits a restaurant provides a service rating of excellent good or poor the data obtained are the labels excellent good or poor the data have the properties of nominal data in addition the data can be ranked or ordered with respect to the service quality ordinal means name categories that can be ordered it is a ordinal scale of measurement let's see what is the interval scale of manager measurement <laughs> if the data have all the properties of ordinal data and the interval between values is expressed in terms of a fixed unit of measure then the scale of measurement is interval scale interval data are always numeric interval data is always numeric note this point because sub addition and subtraction can be performed on interval data can find out difference between any two values ratios of values has no meaning here you can't say the ratio of two data in between because the value of zero is arbitrary value of zero is arbitrary interval numerical values that can be added or subtracted no absolute zero that is called interval scale suppose the response to a question on how hot the day is comfortable or uncomfortable then the temperature as a variable is nominal we cannot put order in these two suppose the answer to measuring the temperature of a liquid is cold warm hot it is an, here is an order the variable is ordinal data warm is hotter than cold and hot is hotter than warm consider a ac room where temperature is set at 20 degree centigrade and the temperature outside the room is 40 degree centigrade it is correct to say that the difference in temperature is 20 degree centigrade but it is incorrect to say that the outdoor is twice as hot as indoors temperature in degrees Fahrenheit or degrees centigrade is an interval variable, no absolute zero. Then next is ratio scale of measurement. Ratio scale of measurement. If the data have all the properties of interval data, 
and the ratio of two values is meaningful then the scale of measurement is ratio scale like height weight age marks numerical values that can be added subtracted multiplied or divided max ratio comparisons are possible in ratio scale we can compare two data so let's see the summary till now the nominal scale like name blood group and ordinary scale ranking rating nominal scale named categories ordinal scale name plus order is possible these two are performed on categorical data where these two are possible on numerical data interval scale like temperature gpa here no absolute zero difference exist and ratio scale like age height weight marks here true zero exists that's why the ratio comparison is possible two types of data set categorical numerical in categorical nominal scale ordinary scale numerical interval scale and ratio scale in ratio absolute zero is possible in interval no absolute zero 